Hello. Here is what we're making, a salad bowl accelerator. You can see it's a plastic bowl with some aluminium foil connected up to an EHT supply in this case. Or you could use, probably better to use actually, a Van de Graaff generator. Now let's see how to make it. First thing you need is a conducting ball that's going to go round and round. I'm just going to turn off the EHT supply while we do that. To make a conducting ball, I recommend first of all a piece of plasticine with a cocktail stick and then a piece of paper because you're going to spray paint it. The spray paint you're going to use is, I use this stuff, it's carbon paint, it's um, conducting paint and you just use a polystyrene ball. See the polystyrene ball on the end of the plasticine and then spray paint. I'm going to use, do it outside to protect the table. Be back in a sec. That is just drying. Now, whilst that is drying, we're gonna build the second part of the uh, whole enterprise, which is the bowl itself. Now for that, we need a salad bowl or other bowl and some bits of paper, some bits of aluminium foil, so not paper. Now the first thing you're gonna to aim to do is you're gonna to aim to do a cross on the inside of your bowl. Now that cross, recommend that you do it with thicker strips of aluminium foil. If you've got the stuff that I've got, it's got a um, sticky back on it. To do that quite effectively, what you can do is you can put it in there and the length of your piece of paper of your aluminium foil needs to be such that it doesn't come up over the rim of the bowl. It stays within the bowl itself. So I'm going to go ahead and stick my aluminium foil into my bowl. Best way of sticking it, in my experience, although not an expert at sticking bits of sticky foil, is to stick it, first of all there, leave the backing on, and then just undo the backing as it goes into the bowl, like that. If it doesn't want to come all the way up the side, then I'm going to make a cross. So as I do this one, you'll notice that at the end of this one, I leave a small tab. And that small tab is just to make it a bit easier to attach a crocodile clip for the power supply at the end when we want to come and use it. So in it goes. I'm just going to snip off the paper at the end to make my tab. There it is. Oh dear, there we go. There it is. So the next thing I'm going to do is to make a ring fully around the outside of the bowl. Now I've already measured this earlier on. The ring goes all the way around the edge, like so. If I can do it, all the way around the edge, like so, like that. So mine's a bit too long, but that's absolutely fine. So undo the tub, undo the uh, backing of the aluminium foil again. And as you can see, when you do that, it's a simple job. Don't let it go up over the side of the bowl. That's the only key thing here. Now these are providing a conducting path for our charge to travel to the different bits of the, of the bowl in order to make our particle accelerator work. So just overlap the sides like so. Last thing you're going to do, so just to show you to make it absolutely clear that's going all the way around the edge there. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to then put four 
thinner strips on the inside. I don't know if you can see that starting here, going up over the edge and touching the, the uh, aluminium foil around the edge. So essentially, these ones, the cross in the middle, is going to get one charge, let's say positive, given that it's a positive cross, and the ones going out the diagonals, if you like, are going to be a negative charge, and they're all going to be negative because they're all going to be connected to this rim around the edge that we're going to make negative. Okay, so if I do that, I've got some thinner strips here, pre cut obviously, just to save a bit of time on the video. So the ones go like this. So it's nice to start in the middle when you do this, so start near the cross. Now you don't want them to actually touch the cross, so if I try and do it, hold it up and do it here, what you're going to want to do is start it not a million miles away, probably a centimetre or so, a centimetre or so from the uh, the two perpen not perpendiculars, yes, two perpendiculars, that's right, over the... Uh, of the central cross that you've got in the middle there. So as you stick that on, you'll see what I'm going to do is stick that right over the edge there and then down to touch the foil on the other side of the bowl. So there's the first one. Same again. And Second one, again, about a centimetre from the the other two bits of the cross, across the middle there, touching across the back. There it goes, third one. And finally, the fourth and last one, and then we will be ready to try out our salad bowl accelerator. Now, whilst you're looking at this, you might want to be thinking about how is it similar to a real particle accelerator? Obviously, it's really an analogy, I suppose, to how a real particle accelerator works, but you might want to incorporate it when, when you're studying the cyclotron, which is something that, that I do for my A-level students in the uh, early part of their course at AS, and then also when they do electric fields and magnetic fields and circular motion in the second half of their A2 level. And we look at how alternating electric charges, alternating electric fields can accelerate charged particles. So now what I'm gonna do is uh, connect my new particle accelerator to my EHG supply. I'm going to get my rescue my ball from the garden. Just give me a moment. There it is. It only takes a moment to dry. There it is. That's the old one that I used before. If you don't believe me, put that out of shot. And uh, and here it goes. Now the way that you connect it up is you connect the positive in this case I'm going to connect that to the central cross so I find my tab where that I left them attached just there and I'm going to connect the negative to the rim I'm just going to connect that to one of those ones on there like that the other thing you might need is a wooden spoon uh, an insulating rod of some kind to just give it a bit of a kick start if it doesn't work straight away so let me just switch the EHG supply on just check it's on Zero, mains on, EHT on, and give it a bit of a kick to start. Hmm. <laughs> you can see some sparks. Hmm. Maybe I'll try. Maybe I'll try the other ball. Hmm. 
before I give up completely. Ah, okay, so, oh, there we go. And off it goes. Round and round and round. You can't see that very clearly. Let me lift it up. Hold on a second. There we go. Now it's got going. Now it's got going. And there it is. There's your solid bowl particle accelerator. The ingredients are easy, easy to do. Hope you have a go yourself. And let us know how you get on in the forum on Talk Physics. Thank you for watching. Bye.